Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl B Sparrow, Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. How y'all doing today? I am doing just fine. I am blessed. I am thankful to be amongst the living. And if you are within the sound of my voice, I'm so thankful that you are amongst the living too. All praises to the Most High Yah. I'm thankful to you guys for helping my YouTube channel to grow. Yes. 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 I went from 100 and maybe, what was it, 140, something like that, subscribers to 421 in a matter of weeks. I got this excellent program, y'all. It's working for me. And if you guys would like to know how I got my subscribers, just hit me up. But I know you're not going to hit me up because you're not listening. Because guess what? This is... (laughs) No one is listening. But it's all good because I am working this program that my daughter turned me on to to gain more subscribers and it's working for me. I'm in and out of these um, Facebook groups, posting my links. People are subscribing. Whether they subscribe and unsubscribe or not, I, I don't even worry about that anymore as long as they subscribe. You know, I'm thankful for that. But With that being said, I just want to say, how many times have I told you guys to keep an eye on your babies? Listen, y'all, more than ever, you have to watch your babies in these end times. See, because the devil is really after them. He's trying to get to us through our children, y'all. We have to watch our children and get our children under the protection of the Most High Yah. Get our children under the wings of the Most High Yah. And I say that because I came across this article where this Ohio man raped a 10-year-old girl and later crossed state lines for an abortion. He impregnated a 10-year-old girl and tried to cover it up, crossing state lines to get an abortion. Is this the first of these type of cases? I mean, the abortion part of it. Since the Roe v. Wade was overturned, people are going to be going across state lines to get abortions. But y'all know how it is. I got to go and fetch my article, so... Let me do that, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. What is up, y'all? You're listening to B Sparrow on Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. This is B Sparrow and Buzz Tweet Radio. Lately, I've been using my phone to earn some extra cash for groceries, for hair care products, for cleaning products. You heard me right. I used my cell phone to earn extra cash. How do you do that, B? I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you how. I installed the Mode app on my phone. This app is available in the Google Play Store as well as Apple Store. Once the app was installed, I set up my Mode account and started playing music from some of my favorite artists. It's amazing that I made money just by listening to my favorite songs. And you can do this anywhere, while out and about, while traveling, or even while you are working. Search and play music from over 100,000 radio stations. 
earn mode coins while playing music and games on your phone. Redeem for Amazon or PayPal cards. You can also redeem for Visa gift cards and more. I personally prefer to use PayPal and I cash out about $40 a month. All I had to do was listen to music and they gave me money. You can do the same thing. Hey, you're going to be on your phone anyway. Might as well get paid for it. Install the mobile app today. An installation link can be found in the description box below. Hey, this is B Sparrow. We're in the middle of a pandemic and there's nothing more important than keeping yourself and your family safe. But social distancing does not have to impact your ability to earn a living. Novi Consultants connects people like you to job opportunities with Fortune 500 companies from the comforts of your own home. Visit www.noviconsultants.com today. <music> Sweet Talk Radio do not own copyright for this copyrighted material, but under Section 107 United States Copyright Office, Copyright Act 1976, this video, the music and content it contains is for education and or entertainment purposes only. All right, I know people have been sitting there, but I got to bring this queen up here. B. Sparrow. B. Sparrow. I'll just keep my eye on that sparrow. What's up, Beast Sparrow? I can't call it. I can't call it. I can't call it. Hey, to those who are not listening, and thank you for not listening, and welcome to <laughs> the No Audience Podcast. It's your girl, Beast Sparrow. Let's keep talking radio. So glad to be here. I am so glad to be here now that I fetched my article. Oh, I just don't understand how an adult person can be sexually attracted to a child. An Ohio man charged with raping a 10 year old girl who later crossed state lines for abortion, has been arrested. Ten years old. An Ohio man has been charged with raping a ten-year-old girl who later traveled to neighboring Indiana for an abortion, a case that President Joe Biden highlighted in criticizing a U.S. Supreme Court decision eliminating a nationwide right to abortion. Gerson Fuentes, 27 who was arrested on Tuesday, appeared in Franklin County, Ohio Municipal Court for an arraignment on Wednesday. A police investigator testified after the hearing that Fuentes confessed to raping the girl at least twice. He raped a 10-year-old girl. He had sexual intercourse with a 10-year-old girl twice. It's got to be mental. What do you see? Well, let me just say, these eight, nine, ten-year-old girls are filled out. 
I'll admit it. My granddaughter at nine, eight, nine years old, she is already filled out. And I was going to say, what is it that attracts these young girls to men? Men love virgins. Men love virgins. Grown ass men love little ass girls that are virgins. And I think that's sickening. I think that's sickening. Women do it too. You have a lot of women that mess with a lot of women in these schools, teachers that are messing with their students. Women do it too. So a statewide ban on abortions in Ohio after the six weeks, after the sixth week of pregnancy, before many women are where they are pregnant, went into effect just hours after the Supreme Court's June 24th ruling that struck down Roe v. Wade, the 1973 decision that had established a constitutional right to abortion. Now, what I didn't know was the lady who was Roe, um, her real name, she didn't even use her real name in the courts. And what I didn't know was that she had abortions not because she had been raped or because... The, they found out that the baby was not going to survive. But she had several abortions because she just didn't want the pregnancies. She did not want the pregnancies. So... I'm kind of conflicted about the abortion. I have to admit that I did it twice and I regret it. I regret ever having an abortion, ever. But this lady that Roe versus Wade, she did not have a uh, abortions because of any discrepancy in her pregnancies she had abortions because she just simply did not want the babies Norma Lee Nelson McCorvey also known by the pseudonym Jane Roe was the plaintiff in the landmark American legal case Roe versus Wade in which the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in 1973 that individual state laws banning abortion were unconstitutional. Later in her life, McCorvey became an evangelical Protestant and, in her remaining years, a Roman Catholic and took part in the anti-abortion movement. McCorvey stated then that her involvement in Roe versus in Roe was the biggest mistake of her life. However, in the Nick Sweeney documentary, a.k.a. Jane Roe McCorvey said in what she called her deathbed confession that she never really supported the anti-abortion movement and that she had been paid for her anti-abortion statements. Wow, they not talking about that. So the lady really did not want to be involved with the abortions. She says she regretted she regretted. So what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? She said she never really supported the anti-abortion movement and that she had been paid for her anti-abortion sentiments. Oh, that's another show all by itself. That's another show all by itself. So let me get back to this guy that raped a 10-year-old girl and took her across state lines to have an abortion. This article goes on to say, the incident gained attention this month when the Indianapolis Star newspaper reported 
Oh, wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm going to read this verse that I dropped off on again. A statewide ban on abortions in Ohio after the sixth week of pregnancy before many women are where they are pregnant went into effect just hours after the Supreme Court's June 24th ruling that struck down Roe v. Wade, the 1973 decision that had established a constitutional right to abortion. The incident, the incident gained attention this month when the Indianapolis Star newspaper reported she had to travel to Indiana to secure an abortion because she was three days past Ohio's six-week limit, which does not include exceptions for rape or incest. Abortions after six weeks remain legal in Indiana, though the Republican-controlled state legislature is expected to consider new restrictions later this month. Biden, a Democrat, spoke of the girl in remarks to reporters about abortion access. Just imagine being that little girl, 10 years old, he said angrily at the White House on Friday. Fuentes is being held on a $2 million bond and is scheduled for a preliminary hearing on July the 22nd. Wow, imagine that your baby girl is pregnant by a grown-ass man. Damn, they're 30 years old, and he impregnated your 10-year-old baby girl. Raped her at least twice. Did she know what was going on? Could she have known what was going on in this day and age? I'm not so sure whether she did or not. These kids are not so innocent these days. A court-appointed defense attorney for Fuentes did not immediately respond to a request for comment. In all, 26 U.S. states have either severely restricted abortions in the wake of the ruling or are expected to do so in the coming weeks and months. Some conservatives have questioned the veracity of the Indianapolis Star story. Republican Ohio Attorney General David Yost or Yost told the USA Today Network Ohio Bureau on Tuesday that the details were more likely than not a fabrication because there had been no arrest and no evidence uncovered, Ohio's Columbus Dispatch reported. But in a statement on Wednesday, after the arrest, Yost, or Yost, who defended the state's six-week ban in the state courts, in state court, after the Supreme Court decision said, my heart aches for the pain suffered by this young child. I am grateful for the diligent work of the Columbus Police Department in securing a confession and getting a rapist off the streets. Once again, this 27-year-old man, 27-year-old man impregnated a 10-year-old girl. And I know... You're going to have people that is going to turn to biblical scripture on this. Well, that's what they did in biblical times. They impregnated 10, 11, 12-year-old girls. Well, this is the United States of this here, America. We don't do that here. And when in Rome, you live by the Romans. You have to abide by the laws. You have to abide by the laws. You have to abide by the laws. So let me know what y'all think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Not just to my YouTube channel, but come on over here to my podcast on Spreaker.com, Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Follow me there. And in return, I'll do the same. It's your girl, B Sparrow, Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Holla at y'all, girl. Okay? Okay? <laughs>
Bye, sweet.